Hello students, welcome to another video on chemistry for class 7, language of chemistry. Today's chapter is language of chemistry and we are going to learn the details of how to write and balance chemical equations. So let us begin. Now children, you all are using English as a medium to understand and write things in your school, right? So as you know that English is made up of different alphabets and from that alphabets or letters we make up the words when you are in nursery you are learning about the words and as you grow up you learn to make sentences out of it. Similarly when we talk about the language of chemistry we are talking of the symbols, formula and the chemical reactions. So if I talk about the symbols, a symbol is a a representation of the element like if I write A, B, C they are the letters or the symbols similarly for example O is represent to show oxygen in chemistry H for hydrogen and like that as you know we have 118 elements we have 118 different symbols of representing those elements then when we talk about the formula it is used to represent the compounds or the ions now this can be representation of the chemical formula or the molecular formula of any compound like we represent h2o that is for water we have nacl for sodium chloride koh for potassium hydroxide and so on they are equivalent to the words that you use in english right with the letters, with the symbols, we are combining to make the formula. And with the formulas, you are going to make the chemical reactions. Now, you know symbols and formulas are combined to represent the chemical reactions. There will be representation of the different chemical equations which are taking place. You know that chemistry is a study of various kinds of reactions. And we need to write a lot of chemical equations in a chemistry lab or when we are working with chemistry so it is very important to understand the use of symbols and formulas to generate the chemical reactions now if i define a chemical e reaction it is a process in which one or more substances are reacting with another substances and also we are uh, we can tell that they are converted into one or more different substances and there may be transfer of energy or absorption of energy now for example this is a just an example this is not any element but suppose we have two reactants so now what are the reactants reactants are the substances which are taking part or are converted or they are you can say that they are the starting material so reactants are the substances which are going to be converted to something new and as you can see here, C is the new thing after combining A plus B. So C is called the product. Now the product is the new substance that is formed after the reaction has taken place. So you can see when we have more than one reactant, we are representing it by separating them with a plus sign. And to show the conversion of the reactants to form the product, we are putting an arrow in between them. So, a chemical reaction is represented using a chemical equation. So, this is a example of chemical equation. You all have been solving different sums in maths, right? There may be a word problem given to you and you are converting it into equation form and solving some linear equations, right? Similarly, in chemistry, we have word equation. Now, a word equation is a word form of an equation where the reactants and products all are written in term of words like here i have given one example where hydrogen which is a gas is reacting with oxygen another gas and yielding or resulting in the formation of water which is a liquid so you can see again i have separated the reactant with a plus sign and the reactant and the product is separated by an arrow the reactants are written in the left hand side and the products are written in the right hand side and suppose if we have more than one product then also we will use a plus sign to separate them and an arrow is represented 
to separate the reactants which is converted or formed into the products now also you have to remember certain points that in a chemical equation in a word equation or also in a chemical equation we can write the state of the reactants physical state of the reactants and the products like here they are in the form of gas and they they are forming a liquid water so there are some problems in a word equation as you can see that it does not give us the complete information about a reaction we don't know how much of reactants are there used up it does not say how much of each of the reactants is needed or how much product is formed therefore we use the chemical equations or the molecular equations therefore we use the chemical equations or the molecular equations to represent a proper chemical reaction now a chemical equation is a symbolic representation of the chemical reaction where we are using different chemical symbols and formula like the previous example that i showed you in word i've shown you here in the molecular form or the chemical equation of that word equation that is hydrogen plus oxygen forms water h2 it is represented by the symbol h2 oxygen as o2 and formula for water is h2o as i have been repeating i will repeat it again that the reactants are written in the left hand side the product is formed in the right hand side both are separated by an arrow and you can also see as the reactants and products are formed the reactants are forming the product there is arrangement of the atoms now what happens is the number of atoms on each side that is the reactant side and the product side should be equal then only we can say it is a balanced chemical equation because you know that matter cannot be created nor it can be destroyed during a chemical reaction and this can be done by adjusting the number of atoms on both the sides so how do we do that as you can see i put a number so you can see that hydrogen two molecules of hydrogen is reacting with one molecule of oxygen to form two molecules of water and i've written g g that is standing for gas and l for the liquid so this becomes a balanced equation balanced chemical equation and the one hydrogen previously is a unbalanced chemical equation you have to see that always when you write a equation in chemistry it should be a balanced chemical equation as it will tell you exactly the different number of molecules of each elements or the compounds which are there in the reaction so let us now learn how to balance the chemical reactions now you may be given a word equation to be converted into a chemical equation or a molecular chemical equation or you may get unbalanced equation like this and you need to balance it this reaction how do we read it that nitrogen is combining with hydrogen to form ammonia now these are the reactants separated by a plus and the reactants are separated from the product using an arrow now i'll show you how you can do it as you are just starting to balance equation you can always make a table of rhs and lhs that is the left hand side and the right hand side and the elements once you become thorough with balancing you will not have to make this now what are the elements the total elements in this reaction is only two that is nitrogen and hydrogen you can see in the left hand side we have two nitrogen and two hydrogen in the right hand side we have one nitrogen and three hydrogen so you can see that it is not balanced so to start with if i want to put a 2 here in front of nitrogen so that the reaction changes to 2 of nitrogen and 2 into 3 that is 6 hydrogen atoms so here the number of atoms is becoming different so if i want to make this 2 as 6 i have to put a 3 so that 3 into 2 will become 6 and my equation becomes balanced so after balancing you should do this with pens so nitrogen plus 3 molecules of hydrogen forms 2 molecules of ammonia this becomes a balanced equation so i'll show you one more example let us take another example suppose a word equation is given to you as you are just beginning i have given you the symbols generally you will not get its symbols and formulas 
here potassium is combining with water so what does that mean potassium combines means we will put a plus sign with water to form we will give an arrow to form potassium oxide you all should know how to derive these formulas because you have already seen in the previous part so if you have not seen the video please go and watch it plus hydrogen so let us try to balance it this is a hit and trial method you can name the elements make a column for the left hand side and the right hand side the elements used here is potassium hydrogen oxygen let us count how many atoms are present on the right hand side and the left hand side so in the left we have one potassium one hydrogen two hydrogen and one oxygen and here we have two oxygen one and hydrogen two so you can see that hydrogen and oxygen is balanced but potassium is not so if i want to convert this into two i have to put two in front of this right so now the whole equation stands balanced so a balanced equation will be plus one molecule of water gives one molecule of potassium oxide plus one molecule of hydrogen so now let us try to balance this equation sodium hydroxide NaOH reacts with hydrogen sulfate H2SO4 forms or to give sodium sulfate plus water now this is a chemical equation but unbalanced so as I told you let us make a column you can always make this in pencil now the elements are sodium oxygen hydrogen sulfur you will notice that the number elements are same on both the sides in the LHS and RHS it is automatically getting rearranged to form the new compounds as it stands true to the law of conservation of mass so so if i count i have one sodium four plus one five oxygen sulfur is one hydrogen is two plus one three when we are adding of different we have to because as it, as it is separated by a plus sign you have to add the number of molecule here we have two sodium one sulfate four plus one five oxygen and two hydrogen so mostly you can see that sodium and hydrogen is not balanced so if i want to make the sodium do i have to put in the front always i will put the number in the front not in between of the elements so when i put a two here so the two will affect hydrogen and oxygen also so here it will become four plus two six and oxygen hydrogen is four so now i can convert this hydrogen by putting a Two here so this becomes 4 and 4 plus 2 this becomes 6 so 2 2 6 6 4 4 1 1 so a balanced chemical equation is two molecules of sodium hydroxide with one molecule of hydrogen sulfate forming one molecule of sodium sulfate plus two molecules of water so I'm very sure students that you would have understood how to do simple balancing of the chemical equations this is a hit and trial method and as you are just the beginners you can always make this column and do the work as it will help you to understand how to balance the chemical equations don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and you can definitely comment if you have understood how to balance the chemical equations thank you for watching